Well, hello there, it's John Q here from Techno Buffalo, and welcome to the very first episode of What's the Apps, a new app review segment here in Techno Buffalo, which has a rather fancy name. Don't you agree? Yeah? And today we're going to be taking a look at a Safari replacement for iOS called Maven. Since the beginning of iOS, Apple introduced to the world a revolutionary little application that helped fortify the bridge between the desktop experience and the mobile experience. This app stood alone, and it stood the test of time and made trivial features like pinch to zoom and flick to scroll, something as users have not only grown to love, but have grown to expect for modern day devices. The app I'm talking about, of course, would be Safari. Over the years, companies and developers have created and released browser alternatives such as Opera Mobile for iOS. Although they had nifty features, they've always kind of felt like a complimentary application rather than a standalone Safari replacement. Sort of like a Robin to a Batman. This is of course unless you really like Robin, then you know, good on ya. Now the year is 2011, technology has evolved and today there are many many different Safari alternatives allowing the user to choose how they want to experience their mobile internets. One of them is an application oddly named Maven. To be honest, at first I was a little hesitant to download Maven, mainly because it wasn't free, but still. The design of the icon wasn't up to the standards of its vibrant competitors, but I decided to give it a shot and man, I am so glad I did. One of the reasons why I started browser hunting was because I wanted to increase the default font size of Safari. Now, personally, I think it's a little bit small. The text size, my eyes are okay minus the glasses part, but still. I think it's a little small. It would be great if Apple provided an option to increase Safari text size, you know, just like their email application. Two great features of Maven would be the ability to view web pages in full screen and to control font sizes. Granted, these features plus many others such as social sharing and visible tabs are present in other Safari alternatives, there are some features unique to this humble browser. One of them would be the jog dials that can be swiped out from the side. There's a jog dial for brightness and another one for social sharing and custom bookmarks. The brightness one is handy for extended viewing periods, but I haven't really found a need for the social sharing one. Another nifty feature would be reader or readability, which simplifies the text on screen, giving you a more newspaper or magazine experience. It's definitely awesome, but it seems to only work well in singular article pages. The final feature, probably the best thing about Maven, would be its red joystick thingy called a trackpad. At first glance, it looks like a ridiculously super tacky feature reminiscent of the trackpads from the older IBM laptops. But the second I used it, the thought that immediately went through my mind was, Oh my goodness, every browser, no no no, every application should have this thing. It eliminates the need to constantly swipe and scroll. All you have to do is hold and move. The movement is very smooth and is similar to the control experience you might get from games like Minigore. The only downside is that it gets a little clunky when you do want to swipe and scroll because you might accidentally move it, which happens to me more often than not. I think only after experiencing the app can you really understand the design of the icon. The red trackpad and the jog dials, both unique Maven features, are visible on the icon. Still. I think they could have done a better job, but that's just me. Something else I should point out would be that the UI graphics aren't as slick as the ones found on other browsers like Mercury or even Safari. I don't know. Maybe it's that brushed metal look that kind of went away with the older macOS versions. A possible downside to all Safari alternatives would be that lack of the add to home screen feature. I love this feature and I would love to see it for Maven, but I understand if it can be done because of developing limitations. Overall, for just 99 cents for both iPhone and iPad support, you really have nothing to lose. I give Maven a 4.5 out of 5. If it weren't for that red trackpad being a little clunky, I would have given it a solid 5. So if you're looking for a Safari alternative, seriously, check out Maven. And thank you very much for checking out the very first episode of What's the App. So this was John Q from Techno Buffalo. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.